This clip is hilarious. Um, Fox host Brian Kilmeade, who is one of the dumber people on the network, he had on kids to do the whole, like, we should open all the schools propaganda stuff and agree or disagree with that position. Not really the issue here. You're going to have a sixth grader give Biden some mild praise and Trump some mild criticism. And Brian Kilmeade couldn't let a sixth grader saying something slide. How close are you to getting back in the room? What do you miss most about not being in school? Um, I miss most, obviously, seeing my friends and all the after-school activities that I've done. And I think that we're very, very close getting back to school. And I think that um, the way that our new right. president is handling things is a very good way. And we would have not have gone to this if it were still the last president. Really? That's uh, hard to believe because the last president was saying, I want every kid back in school. Uh, so, uh, Lily, for you... Really? Do you just come after Trump? Well, I disagree because I like Trump. I don't like Biden, but I like Trump. What'd you say? You say something anti-Trump and pro-Biden? Well, Trump said you want to get the schools open, so I don't even know what you're talking about. What a goofball. Yeah, Trump wanted to get everything open with zero control of the virus. Now, Biden hasn't been amazing on that stuff, but more shots are getting in more arms. The cases are dropping. Um... I think there's still a debate about when's the right time to open certain things or whatever. Uh, but Kilmy couldn't help himself. He had to rush in there and defend Daddy Trump. I will say that with the sixth grader, don't get it twisted, guys. Generally speaking, when a sixth grader has some sort of political opinion, it's because their parents have that opinion and they're parroting their parents. So that's what I think happened here. Maybe the parents went as far as to say, like, say, say this when you're talking on Fox News, and then the kid did it. That's also possible. But either way, it is so funny that Kilmeade could not help himself, could not help himself, and had to jump in and had to defend Trump. Now, in terms of the actual issue, what should be going on with schools? Um, so the, the thing the kid said, he's like, I miss my friends and after school activities. Okay. Well, listen, we, we already know, and the CDC and the FDA said this recently, that if you're outside and you have any sort of distance between you and the people around you, it's totally safe to be out there. In fact, they say now it's more likely that you get sick inside when you're 60 feet away from somebody. You could still get COVID that way, but you're unlikely to get COVID if you're outside and you have like, six or ten feet between you and somebody else. So it's really not spreading outside. So my reaction to that is pretty much exactly what the CDC and the FDA is saying, which is after school activities, have at it. Everybody go out there, play baseball, play soccer, play whatever. That it, It's safe. It's safe. It's relatively safe to be outside. The only thing I would caution against is if you're outside literally like arm to arm with people right next to each other talking directly into somebody's face. That's the only thing that's maybe questionable. But outside of that, whatever after school activities you want, it should absolutely happen for sure. Um, in terms of being in the classroom, kids do much better when they get COVID, but the problem is they can spread it to people who aren't kids and those people can die and the numbers can skyrocket and all these things, right? So um, if you're going to open up all the schools, and maybe that is the right thing to do, I don't know. You, maybe you do some hybrid of online learning at home and in, and, uh, you know, in-person learning in school, or maybe you just mandate masks whenever people are inside. That seems relatively, you know, a mild regulation that would probably help massively. Or, I mean, if you really want to get creative with solutions, maybe what you do is uh, flip the year. So from now on, have schools in the summer and have the schools done you could even have them outside, right? Have some classes outside. School done in the summer, have it done outside. Um, and then you, instead of getting a summer break, you get a winter break. Basically all of winter, you're inside. Uh, excuse me, you're at home. So, you know, these are, I'm just, I'm just, you know, shooting from the hip here with potential solutions. But um, it's very weird that for so long, it seems like everybody's assumption was like, we got to get the kids back to school ASAP. And, like, I get it, but I really think that that 
instinct comes more from the parents being annoyed as fuck that their kids are always home and they're really annoying the shit out of them. I really think that's more why you've had this nonstop call of like, get the kids back to school ASAP right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. And there's also been like a downplaying of the potential downsides of that. Where, yes, of course, you can, you can definitely increase COVID outbreaks a lot if you have the kids in school and they're not wearing masks and it's during the winter, they're inside. That could be a real problem. So, now I'm not saying don't send them back, but what I am saying, if you're going to do it, just be reasonable about rules and regulations and clever ways of getting around problems. So, but anyway, um, I feel bad. These kids, oh, I miss my friends. I miss after school activities. They should 100% bring those back because they're safe. So bring them back. Um, and Brian Kilmeade, of course, being Brian Kilmeade, I really would have loved it if he kept arguing with the kid. Like the kid says something back and then he's like, Pfft. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't know anything. You're just a sixth grader. Because I really do think Brian Kilmeade is that dumb. He's phenomenally dumb.